Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is vlogist number eight. And also, what you working on Wednesday? I don't remember what number, but it's one of them. <laughs> Wait, I don't number those. Yeah, I don't number those, so it's all good. <laughs> Anyways, I haven't worked on anything so far this Wednesday. It is 10.30 in the morning, and I've been up since, I woke up at five, and then I fell back asleep until six something. So, and then I, um, I did my, Bible study I do in the mornings and I uh, what else did I do I can't remember what I did this morning at some point mom at eight something my mom came and picked me up because Damon's working she took me to the post office I got a package and she also took me to Hobby Lobby because um when I was there Monday me and Devin was there getting something I can't remember what they're for <laughs> anyways I seen that they were starting to mark down their yarns the annual clearance that they do they normally do it in June but I guess because of the coronavirus uh, I got pushed down a, few, a little bit but um, and I did purchase some and I showed those in a, video, a couple videos and there's actually a giveaway in that video so go check it out if you're interested um, but all that yarn that I purchased that day was just for giveaways in the future and um, so I like having stuff on hand to do random giveaways and it's fun to like give it back to the community Anyways, today I went back because I knew in a few days, you know, if they started with that one section, they were going to, you know, work their way down and do the whole yarn section. And they did. And I wish I could have went yesterday, but um, my husband worked. And he worked today, but I didn't think to message my mom until today. But whatever. Either way. She took me back, so I did grab some more yarn. This yarn is all for me. And no, I do not need new yarn. I don't have anywhere to put it. It's going to go right back in the bag that I just pulled it out of. And it's going to set somewhere until I want to use it. <laughs> because my shelves are full. And my totes are full and I'm trying to work through yarn but uh, it was super cheap and I like the colors some of the yarns I've had before and I love the yarn some of them I, are ones I've been admiring and wanted to grab and there were way more in sale I could have done so much worse and I'm gonna tell you if Devin was with me I would have probably done way worse because he is an enabler and he last time he went with me and I ended up buying two buggies worth of yarn and it's because he's with me. But this time, I just got a big bag and a little bag. <laughs> it came to, um, the yarn that I purchased, I just calculated it. It came to $29 just for the yarn. And then I got Jesse a little toy that was, you know, he wanted. It was like $2.99. It was $2.99. Uh, so I, I, I paid total $35.41. But if I took out the taxes, which is just annoying, you have to pay it. Anyways, and Jesse's toy, it came to like 29 and some change that I paid for this yarn and then taxes on top of that. But, um, and I calculated all the prices up and they totaled to $117 and some change. So that's $83 like saved um, from where I didn't have to pay it. So that's awesome. Anyway, since I'm not working on anything yet, I am going to be working on my lovey today. I never did work on it anymore uh, yesterday. So I haven't done anything else to it. Uh, I thought I would show you the yarn that I bought. So that's what I was working on this morning was buying yarn. <laughs> but yeah, so I got four balls of the Lion Brand ice cream. Uh, I've had this before. I made a blanket out of it recently. It's called Lemon Swirl. It's yellows and blues. And because the yellow and blue meets, it makes um, green. So I did buy four of those. They were originally $4.99 and they were marked down to $1.24. So woohoo, super cheap. I thought I'd make another baby blanket because <laughs> I loved that color so much or I don't know I just I liked it and then they had another uh ice cream lime brown ice cream on sale but they only had two balls left so it was four ninety nine dollar 24 markdown this one's called banana split which is weird because it doesn't look like banana split at all but it's really pretty colors I thought I thought I'd make something cute eventually and then let's see these ones are the same these ones are called yarn bee Breathe Deep. This one's colorway is Sugar. This is a really soft. It's a light brown. Or it's called Brown Sugar. Uh, I didn't say the yardage on that. This one's yardage is 216 yards each. I think it's a four. It is a four and it's 100% polyester. It's really soft and squishy. I like it a lot. The uh, ice cream yarns. They're a size three. And there's quite a bit of yards in here. Let's see here. 394 for each ball so that's that's a good amount and then I also got some more of the yarn bee breathe deep this one's called ice blue so it's got the same 216 yards and it's a number four this one's called ice blue I got four of them okay that's not a good color at all that's more of the real color it's a paler prettier blue than up here that makes it look dingy <laughs> that's because I have my window open my curtains open 
And then I bought these. These kind of reminded me of um, Red Heart Haigu or however you say that. I can't remember how to say it. But it's Yarn Bee Rom Romantique. <laughs> it ends with like boutique. And they're 84 yards each, so it's probably a five. Yeah, it's a bulky five. And it's kind of like a country blue with um, fuzziness. I think it's called Cornflower. It's a pretty blue. I thought this would make a cute hat. <laughs> and it's got fuzzies flying everywhere. But it's really soft like the Red Heart Hagu or however you say that. Speaking of Hagu, or however you say it, I'm probably saying it wrong. I bought some Red Heart Hagu, however you say it, charm. And it's originally, I forgot to say that. This is $4.99 normally, and it was $1.24. The Hagu charm <laughs> it was originally $10, $9.99, and it was marked down to $2.49. Each skein has 432 yards, and it's a number four. It says it's number four, but it looks way closer to number three. I got this pretty pink color. What's the color called? I'm not seeing a color. It's a really pretty, like, rose pink, and it's got sparkles in it, which you probably can't see that good. But they're there. It says meteor, so I guess the colorway is meteor, which is really weird because it's you would think it'd be like a, a flower name or something because of the color. But they had a ton of this on markdown. They had blues and purples and blacks and a white one and this one, and I just really like this pink one. And uh, they're 400 something yards each, so I thought that'd be enough to make something nice out of like a maybe a real pretty dainty shawl or something. And then the last yarn I got was Soft and Sleek. This is the only Soft and Sleek that I had left. Someone else done rated it. This is one of my favorite, my absolute favorite Yarn Bee yarns. I really love the Baby Soft and Sleek because it's even softer than the regular Soft and Sleek. But it's Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. It's 186 yards per ball. And this colorway is called Silver Mist. It's like a gray color with little brown specks. And I got six of them. Because <laughs> again, I was thinking I'd probably make a cute little blanket. I want a blanket kick. <laughs> And most people make girl blankets, and I have I have quite a few baby girl blankets in my stash. I have three that I can think of off the top of my head. Nope, four, because the one that I made with this could go for girl or boy. So I only have one, I think just one gender neutral to boy color, and that's the one that I made with this yarn. I can't remember if I made another one, but I wanted to make another little boy color one in case someone I know gets pregnant and has a baby boy. So, um, so I'm good on baby girl stuff, or blankets. I don't really make hats and stuff for babies. I don't know, I just never did that. I made a couple for Jesse when he was born, but he only ever wore them to take photos in, and then I never put them back on him. But he was born in May, so it was hot. <laughs> but this is gonna be a hat, probably for me. I think it'd go pretty in my hair. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the yarn that I bought today. Um, like I said, there's no reason I, really, I probably shouldn't have bought it because I don't have anywhere to store it, but I'll probably use it up pretty fast because they're nice and I like working with new yarns. You know, it's always fun to grab something new and work with it. I hate when I can only get two of something like this. I prefer to have three or four or something in case I want to make something larger. But um, I'll just have to figure out what to make with this. Be a cute amigurumi too because it's so soft. It'd be a cute teddy bear or a lovey. Just, it's nice. I'm excited. And like I said, there was a ton of yarn on sale that I could have bought. They had a ton of bulky yarns on sale. I'm not a big fan of bulky yarns. Like this one says it's a number five, but it's they count the fuzz and it looks more like, you know, it's like a number four basically. Um, but I don't like super bulky yarns. I don't know. But definitely check out local Hobby Lobbies because mine marked down finally and I've been seeing other people doing hauls with markdowns. But yeah, I'm going to mention real fast this blanket. I made this two years ago <laughs> and it is a free pattern by Maria's Blue Crown. Uh, it's just type that into Google and it'll bring up her website. She's got a Halloween one, a Christmas one, a fall themed one, a spring themed one, a summer one. One with dinosaurs, one with like succulents and cactuses. She's got one with llamas. That might be the succulent one. She's got like an underwater themed one. She's got a ton of these square blankets. I'm actually, I'm probably about to start the Christmas one. I already printed out the pattern for it, the square, because I can't remember. And it's the same thing, just different colors. And the little appliques are like Christmas trees and elves and stuff, you know. So I'm thinking about doing that. I did line mine. The back of it is lined with um, fleece. I think it's called fleece. 
and I crocheted it on there. I was too afraid to sew it on there because this was two years ago. I wasn't a super, you know, I know more about sewing now than I did two years ago. And I was terrified of messing it up. So what I did is I bought, I had a rotor blade from Cutting Fabric. And they have a special um, blade you can buy from them. That's like a, it's, it looks uh, spoky. And it's got, uh, I think it's every, I think it's a fourth of an inch thick between the two the little spokes. So when you roll it across fabric, it makes just holes. Instead of cutting it, it just pokes holes in it. So, ugh, it's real heavy. If you see here, I poked holes and it's like every fourth or half inch. I'm not even sure, there's a fuzz. <laughs> Ignore that, this blanket gets used. But, uh, and then I crocheted into the blanket uh, all the way around it in black. And then I went back around and I put the border of the blanket with the black border to the blanket the fuzzy blanket and then I sewed them together just going in and out the mattress stitch or whatever so that it would be hidden a little bit better and yeah it's getting fuzzy because it is just acrylic yarn and we've been using it for two years and we use it this will be our third Halloween with it out and we do use it I was using it this morning it gets used a lot it gets washed a lot so it's going to get fuzzy over time but it's still cute and I still love it and if it ever gets tore up all I have to do is make another one so it's a really easy pattern. It's made in a bunch of squares, though, so if you don't like squares and sewing them together, it's probably not the project for you. But anyways, I also got some mail today, so I'm gonna... This is for my friend Phyllis. I knew this was coming. It actually came, I think, two days ago, but uh, I haven't had the car because Devin's been working, so I couldn't open it until today. I already opened it, too, by the way. So she's, she was supposed to be sending me some scrap fabric pieces that she had of Halloween. Like, I think they were fat quarters. But she ended up sending more <laughs> because she always does. And uh, she also was, sent me some elastic because I was needing some thinner elastic. I haven't been able to find thinner elastic. And I thought this bag was really cool that she put in there. That's so cool. It's like a, I don't want to, I don't know what to do with it because I want to keep it pretty. But it's got like lotions on there. Okay. So what she was supposed to send me was some elastic. This is a fourth of inch uh, elastic for her masks. I, I've only been able to find, I think it's half inch or it might be even bigger than that. It's really big and it's painful on your ears. So she sent me this and then I found some on Amazon that I'm gonna order that is like the tube elastic, but it's really soft and squishy. And I got some of it from her that she got from somebody. Um, and it's real good for Jesse his little tender ears so I'm gonna order some more of that off of Amazon and uh, actually I already did I ordered it yesterday <laughs> so it should be coming in the next few days but she also sent me some fabric stuff which is what she was supposed to send me I haven't even looked at it yet so okay this feels like it's a yard of a floral print but it feels like a yard and then this is a fat quarter of little cats with some yarn so that'll make a cute little project bag Oh, this is so cute. These are fat quarters, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. These are two fat quarters with little bats on them. And then these are two fat quarters with, uh, I guess, kids in costumes is what kind of looks like. There's a scarecrow, a ghost, a Frankenstein, a vampire, bats. And it says, happy haunting, boo to you, fangtastic fun. Mwah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make bags and sell these. I might have to keep these for myself. <laughs> and then this one. Let me open this one because it looks like it's got a scene on it. There's two of these. Okay, back to what I was doing. <laughs> this feels like a yard dish too. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I think this is a yard. And this is a Halloween print. And up here it's like little people, but it says trick or treat. The uh, Frankenstein is the tea yeah that is super cute I think she said these were kind of old too that she's had them for a while but old in fabric means vintage which is nice and then there's some white uh, scraps here which are great great for liners and then there's this piece it's got bones and like tennis balls and baseballs and then she also sent me a dish towel <laughs> 
that will go in my kitchen because my kitchen is lemon themed now. Um, she's, me and her talk like all the time. So she's been with me through my crazy year I've had this year. And one of the ways I coped with the stress that I had was by redecorating my living room and my kitchen. And so she's been with me through that whole thing. And uh, I decorated my kitchen with lemons. So this will go perfect in there. She also sent this banner. It's called a harvest banner. And it's pumpkins on like a twine rope. And then she also sent this lemon box, which is really cool. And inside the lemon box are three Pez dispensers that are Harry Potter. It's Harry, Ron, and Hermione. That's pretty cool. And then inside there is a pair of socks <laughs> with sheep and yarn balls. These were at Hobby Lobby, but they clearanced them out earlier this summer. I remember almost buying some and I actually got another pair gifted to me uh, earlier this year. And they had t-shirts and stuff. I almost bought some of the shirts, but they were super thin and I was afraid they wouldn't last long. So I ended up putting them back. <laughs> but thank you, Phyllis. I appreciate all this extras. I love this lemon box. I have to put it somewhere that I can be seen. <laughs> It's got like a magnet closure too, which is cool. But yeah, so that's all the Happy Mall got today and the yarn that I bought. I haven't worked on anything yet, so that's why this watch you're working on Wednesday is different than normal ones. But I do plan on working on my lovey later. And I might actually start something with one of these new yarns. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how I feel. I'm kind of not feeling that greatest right now. And uh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten at all. It's almost 11, so I need to go get some food. <laughs> And I will see you guys in the next video, I guess. Oh, wait. Before that, tell me what you're working on in the comments below. I forgot to say that earlier. But let me know what you're crocheting or knitting or doing like I am. Um, leave links down there of patterns that you're using or that you would like to share with other people. Uh, any of that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> and I'll, then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.